Hello, it is Monday afternoon. Same as usual, it really is my routine. Been sitting there fiddling with the channel this morning. There is so much I want to do to it, which is I want to tweak all my tags, thumbnails and descriptions for all my old videos, but I haven't even started with it. I never quite get to that point. I've also been on the phone a bit, trying to sort some stuff out. I have had another gig rearranged. It's been moved twice now. It's now in May next year. This is happening a little bit. I did make myself a little list of things to do today, but Isabel has just rather surprised me. Well, not just, half an hour ago. She's rather surprised me by saying she'd like to go to the park, AKA she wants me to buy her an ice cream. But um, I'm so pleased to get her out in the sunshine and fresh air and out of her bedroom that I will agree <laughs> to anything. <laughs> well, not anything, you know what I mean. And um, I've just done a quick shout around for the local homemade friends and one of them's gonna come along too, so that's nice. Izzy's doing a big massive room tidy. She's started, it's gonna be a slow and long process, I think. I'm trying to get her to tidy it completely and her office before college starts. The first week of college is online at home anyway. And I just think it would be nice for her mindset to start with a really clean slate. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with myself at the moment, apart from making a second coffee of the day. Um, because I made myself a list of things to do, thinking that Izzy wouldn't want to do anything with me, only she surprised me with that, so my little list is going to just sit there, I think, unattended to. I don't need to go out just yet. I might have a look, see what I can do. I know what I can do, actually. I can start going through that big pile of clothes that she said doesn't fit her anymore. I have a charity bag. Here's the pile, it hasn't moved since the other day. Some of it is just gonna be beyond repair, like full of eczema emollients. Some of it I might try and make into face masks, and some of it I will charity shop. Oh my gosh, where do we even start? Oh yeah, that's definitely too small. Ah, oh. This one's perfectly all right for a charity shop. I'll just fold that up and pop it in the bag. Funny folding. I never was very good at folding clothes. But anyway, right, that's number one. I'm gonna have this one. I've got a feeling I might have bought it for myself, offered it to her because she wanted it, and then she changed her mind. I'm not sure. I mean, it's way too big for her. It's an adult's one. Yeah, good, that'll do. I'll have that. I can get rid of the eczema wear now, look. As he had to sleep in pyjamas with enclosed hands and feet until really relatively recent times, until she was on the medication that she's on now. Those injections made all the difference. Had loads of them because of course uh, they scratch all night, fills up with emollient and skin and blood, whatever. They really need a clean set every single night so it worked out very expensive because we had to have a lot of pairs. Now she can go all week with one set of pyjamas. It's great, like normal humans. I need to recycle them and I don't know where to recycle them to. I should put them to one side and ask I think. There are trousers as well with closed in feet, you know, like baby grows, but for big people. You can get them in adult sizes if you can't stop scratching all night. It was definitely life changing for the better to discover this brand of nightwear. Cotton Comforts it was, but they didn't have to get tangled up in the washing machine. It was a nightmare. They'd end up in one great big lump and in the tumble dryer. I've got a recycling pile, but I need to go to the park now. We're going to go on our scooters today to the park, we haven't used them in ages and um, I want to start getting just into the habit of using them because they're really nippy and natty and we really just should. Well, having a lovely time in the park with the other mum here, she's bought camping chairs. It started to rain as soon as we came, uh, so we came to the bandstand, we accidentally scared away all the teenagers. We've got a, like a mum's force field going on that's scaring all the teenagers off. And the girls have gone to buy us coffee and get themselves an ice cream. Coffee. Oh my goodness, wildlife shots. There's a rat in the bin and it's alive. Hello ratty. It's like panting a bit. I've never seen one this close up before. How cool is that? Just take photos of everything these days. Oh, I'm just, I shouldn't have stuck my nose in there. There's a dog poo in that bag. Oh. Look, 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 the rat's off. He's swimming in the duck pond. I've never ever seen that. Oh wow. Yeah? Park keeper just gave him a little prod with a stick to get him out of the bin in case he jumped out on somebody. Can you 
taking a scooter home now, just putting my camera in my bag because it's bouncing around on my legs and annoying me. We're back home, the scooters are back in their rightful place as a central focus for the front room. I've been winding Izzy up and saying it's a hierarchy, mine's like on a raised plinth to show my dominance. <laughs> that was totally a joke because yeah, it doesn't really feel like that, I must admit. I'm going to see what's open in the way of shops now because I could do with getting a few groceries. Time for a different set of wheels now. The shopping trolley. Did you have a nice time in the park, Is a whiz? Yes, I did. Some people spotted the difference the other day in that uh, clip on the train that you didn't have your headphones on. Huh. I think about four people got there. I'm going to take my little uh, Rode mic set up with GoPro to the shop. It's a bit fiddly. I'm a bit worried that uh, a bit worried about putting pressure on these wires in case I damage them. I'm not quite sure. Is this a bad idea to do that? I don't know. Mm, the teethy bits aren't on it. It's a little bit of pressure. Well, great, I've made it to Iceland and I've got a trolley. I'm not getting loads, but it just makes it easier when I've got a, one of those trolleys and a camera as well. Hmm, will Izzy like some crumpets? I think she's going through a bagels phase at the moment. Hmm, £1.60, it's quite dear. She does seem to be enjoying muffins. I'll get her some muffins. 79 pence. I am approaching the Greg's section. This is our favourite bit. Izzy absolutely loves the sausage rolls. I can't remember if she wants the big ones or the little ones. I think it's the little ones. Let's get her those. Izzy's asked for bread as well. We put it in the freezer mostly and just take it out when we need it. Uh, one pound for a loaf of braces bread. Oops. Oh, fruit and veg is here. Excellent. Well, I need some. I'm going to go for some Rayburn apples. That's £1.60 for six. And what's this? Can't see how much it is, but we're going to have some of these. Or are we? Well, that says 50% extra free, so I'm going to go for that one. I've now given in to buying courgettes because my courgette plants were a disaster. Okay, yeah, I think they're all right. That's a pound for three. Don't know what that means. Maybe that means I'm going to get a bargain when we get to the till. Spring greens. Well, if they're half price, excellent. I'll have those. Right, onwards. We go. Ooh. What else have we got? We've got lettuce. Cucumber. We like cucumber. Don't know how much that is, but I'm just grabbing it. Mmm. Half price. They're tiny. Oh, mm, can't be doing with those. I'll get these ones instead for a pound. Got some offers going on. Pound for two of these. I'll go for that. Oh, as he says, she really, really wants pizza and chips for tea. We're kind of feeling celebratory still because of college, so we're kind of chilling out a bit. Pound for pizza. Yeah, we'll go for that. Now, Izzy really likes these. Shall I get a unicorn? So that's quite funny. Same price, I think. And she's used up all the oven chips because she's taken to cooking herself oven chips. Mm, I don't know where they are. I found the oven chip section. Izzy likes the really big, chunky ones. And I like the fries. Should we get one of each? Let's do that. Mm, chunky, is that it? Mary Piper. They look fancy, don't they? There was a particular brand that she likes. 
Maybe that's it. Oh, they're a bit dearer, I think. Uh, go on then. I did need a couple of extra things, to be honest, but I've come to the point where I think I've got enough that I can easily and sensibly put in there. So I might come back and do another one in a different shop tomorrow. There we are, I got it all in and the pizza in that bag there. Time to go home. I'm back from the shop. Izzy's put the oven on for me, she's hungry. I haven't scheduled my day at all today. I've just gone with the flow and I haven't got time to practice my flute today. Naughty Immo, but let's face it, I haven't got any gigs on the horizon, probably until I don't know when. <laughs> the one I rescheduled today was rescheduled from November to May. Who knows if we'll be gigging again in May? Maybe. I think I might be doing pub gigs before I'm doing Kayleys. I think Kayleys involve a lot of physical contact and I think they are going to be the last gigs to come back, unfortunately, and they're the ones I do the most of as well. I'm going to put all that stuff away now and do a little bit of editing before dinner. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you liked the video, please give it a like. It so helps the channel to grow and I really appreciate that. If you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our story, feel free to hit the subscribe button down there and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.